What is up YouTube? Um, I know you clicked on this video because you need help installing this in on the radio in your BMW X5 because there's so much videos on YouTube that's like 20 minutes long. That's not fucking helpful. Like it's just, uh, listen, this is a, a method that I thought of that works for me. Hopefully it'll work for you, but you know, better than nothing. So when you buy the radio, basically it comes with the big box that comes with the radio, all the wiring, the harness, all that bullshit. Uh, basically you're supposed to hook up the long wiring, the 12, I think the 12 foot or whatever, how long that shit is, from the trunk of the car, plug it into the computer module for the radio, and run it all the way to the front, and create your own one new wire harness. Um, unfortunately, when I bought my car, my car didn't have the computer modules in the back of the trunk, so I had to thought of another method to hook up the radio, and the shit works. So, again, you can do this method. If not, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below of an actual, you know, step by step, picture by picture video that help you do it the legit way. But this is the way that I done. So what I did was I hook up the small harness. I come with the box and the wiring. Hook it up to the actual standard car radio harness. And I ran my own power from the trunk of the battery, the battery, the, 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 the trunk battery to the front of the car, which is the red wire here. And I hook it up to this, uh, this red and green wire. So I hook up the red wire from the trunk that I ran from the battery to the red and green wire. And I hook up, I ran my own ground from the bolt, the seat bolt here. So I can try to plug it up so you guys can see, fuck it. I basically ran a wire from the, uh, the the seat bolt all the way up to the front of the radio. And you see here, it is the brown wire that runs to the ground. And, you know, I thought it would work. I turned the car on, it wasn't working, and I realized I needed my own accessory wire because the accessory wire wasn't working either. So I ran a, um ignition wire from the bottom of the uh, steering wheel, which is the yellow wire, to this one. And I turn it on. Let me get the key real quick. And next thing you know, the, the radio was working. The radio comes on, it works. I didn't have to run my own speaker wires. Like everything plays perfect. The subwoofers work also. Like everything is working perfect. So this is the easiest way on how to do it. If you don't want to do it this way. So you see it's working. Come on, that's adorable. Something else to make you feel good? Geico has been offering great safety. So if you don't want to run your own wire, you want to do it the professional way, the legit way. Again, you can do it by the video that will help you out below. And it'll, it'll be more time consuming, to be honest. But this is a, the easiest way on how to do it. And I promise you it will work. The speakers will work, will work. The radio will work. Everything will just work perfect. You know what I'm saying? So if you guys have any concerns or questions, uh, leave a comment below. I'll try my best to help you guys out. And don't forget, if you guys do not want to do it this way, again, all I did was just ran my own power, ran my own ground, and I ran my own accessory wire, hooked it up, it worked perfect with the short horns that comes with the um, the box and everything. But yeah, that's it. Take care, guys.